Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Easy and Inspire. This is second part of how to prepare a BTEC project documentation. In first part, we have seen the required data to prepare a BTEC project document. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to insert a block diagram, a table, graph and chart and equation using MS Word. Okay, let's start. In my opinion, MS PowerPoint is very easy to draw a block diagram or table. So I am going to consider MS PowerPoint instead of MS Office. So observe here, new PowerPoint. So double click on it. This is MS Office PowerPoint. Okay, first click here. So we need to insert a block diagram. So remove these two. Just right click, right click here, cut. Again, right click, cut. So take a blank paper like this. So go to insert. Then observe picture, clip art, photo album, shapes, smart art, charts. I am taking smart art. Okay, there are different categories mentioned here. This is all. We observe different types of categories in this all. So list type of smart arts. This is the preview. Process type. Horizontal. Vertical. Cycle. Relationship type. Hierarchical type matrices type and pyramid type so you can select whatever you want based on your requirement so generally block diagram either horizontal or vertical so consider so this is a horizontal type of block diagram so if you want to implement consider this is a blurred one in your documentation so again you need to draw this so observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 horizontal blocks. I am taking smart art. So go to process. So if you don't know where it is, so go to all and search for horizontal one. So this is the one. Okay. So we have only 3 but you need 5. Just right click, copy, again right click, paste. So see 1, 2, 3, 4. Again same. Copy. Paste. So now drag this one. Just drag this one. And again drag this one here. Move this one just by. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Observe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So write down all the matter here. So similarly write down the remaining. Okay. Next up, so 1, 2, again here, 1. So, you need 2 more here. Okay, go to picture. Just drag this one. Okay. Again, insert. Smart art. You need 2 horizontal. Take a horizontal one. Okay. Click on okay. So, drag this to the page. So you need only two, just click this one, cut. So again, drag this one. If you observe this carefully, you got two blocks, total three blocks. Okay. Mono monitor is output lining.
okay next so there is no arrow mark here so just click this one just arrow mark click this arrow mark and go to format and shape fill observe clearly shape fill take white color see there is no arrow mark okay next observe so all these arrow marks are present so there is no arrow mark here again i'm removing arrow mark so click this one format shape fill so white color shape so no arrow mark okay next observe there is a line here line into input so like this go to insert shapes observe shapes so choose mm, okay this one okay no choose this one and take a line here okay so this is very thin so go to format if you observe there are different colors and different sizes okay it is okay for me then again insert shapes again i am taking arrow mark again format so this is my line here so you need patience to draw your block diagrams because keeping a blurred image or invisible image makes a bad impression on your project documentation so be patient and try to draw all these okay next observe there is one more line here so from here to here so third box so take a insert shape first line so go to format taking a tick line okay this is my line again insert arrow line so draw from here to here okay again format so this is my line so you can move this just by your navigation button so this is my line observe carefully this is very easy to draw all this next one more block here go to insert single block so i am taking a just there block here so no need you can go to smart art and take a block again okay so just drag this one so no need the remaining two cut this one cut again i am removing one more cut so now resize it i'm just taking resize option drag to the place wherever you want of the one more line that is microcontroller write down here micro controller next you can take arrow marks like this 1 2 3 and 4 i'm taking arrow marks insert shapes arrow mark so here to here so go to format immediately and then make it tick so next observe from here to here so insert shapes okay line format tick line okay next again insert shapes arrow mark here okay you can do it fastly with your practice again go to insert shape in your mtech pro project documentation it is necessary to draw all the block diagrams like this so try to practice all this 
in your project time project okay so observe here i have completed all the lines and one more line here so insert take a line from here and form a again insert arrow line and make arrow mark from here to here again form it so i have completed my block diagram observe carefully this is my block diagram if you want you can resize it see this is my block diagram after creating your block diagram so you need this one in your documentation so just go for search option and observe snipping tool search for snipping tool in your computer so observe snipping tool okay click on new move this aside so just observe this is my block diagram file save as if you observe this this is png form that is nothing but image form so name it so nothing but block diagram of something whatever you want okay desktop okay save so go to desktop observe here so block diagram this is my image observe this is my image so you can use this image in your documentation like this you need to draw any type of block you want okay in this session we have seen how to draw a block diagram in your document preparation in this session we will see the remaining so all these things is a time taking process but it becomes easy if you practice them so don't be the same be different so in our next video so i'll explain about how to insert a flow chart and table using ms powerpoint thank you